Hey JM fam, how are we? Um, I'm gonna start introing like that. I feel like we're more like a family than me just saying hi guys or whatever. So, and obviously JM is for my name. So, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so, today we're gonna be doing my everyday makeup look. And this is pretty much what I do when I'm in a rush, but I wanna go out and look pretty and you know, maybe put some lashes on or maybe not you know that kind of thing so oh gosh so today I'm just gonna be doing my everyday makeup look this is how I get like flawless looking skin um, I do have I think a pimple there and a pimple there but that's okay it is what it is <laughs> so if you want to keep up so make sure to hit that subscribe button below and ring that bell somewhere at the top so every time I post you get notified other than that, let's get to it. So I've already done my skincare routine. I just want to say I've recently added this eye cream. Okay. This is the box. I will show it in a clip right now. Anyways, so this is the cream. Um, or oh, it's a gel, sorry. And it looks like this. Literally, my sister has been using this for, I don't know how many months. Shereen said on Cabramatta Road, um, and her eyes had a lot of um, darkness and there was a lot of creasing. She obviously does her skincare as well, as well. there as well, do you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, and her eyes transformed. So I just started, I literally just put this on in the morning, so <laughs> there's not going to be a difference now. But I really want to document it because I have used every single eye cream you can think of. Like, literally. I've used so many eye creams. And I haven't seen a difference. And I'm not too sure about fillers yet. So I'm kind of like, I want to test this eye cream out and see if it lives up to the expectation. It is about, I think, 130. But if it does the job, I really don't care how much it is. So anyway, before I get out of hand or out of context or whatever I was about to say, because I clearly don't know what I'm going to say, let's get to it. <laughs> Tatcha Silk Canvas all over my face. So I'm going to put the Tatcha Silk Canvas and I like to mainly put it there because those are like the problematic areas and a lot on my nose. So I'm just going to start by massaging it in my skin. Does anyone else do this? Like, or am I the only one who like takes so much joy in massaging my skin? Like I literally sometimes massage my skin for that long. <laughs> I'm like, I need to just get ready. And that's why I... Usually I'm late because I'm too busy pampering myself. So now you know guys. Now you know. <laughs> and I know my skin looks super white on camera and that is because I try not to ever get it to see the sun. As you can see my arm is so dark. I don't know if it's because of this lighting but this is my real skin obviously. I don't tan or I don't do fake tan or anything but I swear in real life I don't feel like it's that bad, but it just looks so bad right now. Probably because of the cream. Let's spray in the cream. Anyways, and then I take my Fasali oil. And I know this seems like a lot of steps, but um, when I am in a rush, this is like, it takes so, like, it, it takes me five minutes. You know? Then I'm taking my MAC strobe cream. I love this so much. Like, look at that. It's like we're, it's like we're best friends. I've tried this. I've had this in for so long. So just a tip. Don't keep it that way. <laughs> or maybe it's just for me. Because look, that much came out. And I really didn't want that much. But that doesn't matter. So I start, I like to dab first. And I really like to take my time with my face because I feel like 
it's to me it's the most important thing like i feel like my skin needs to be glowy i want to feel hydrated and then i can do whatever i want on my eyes you know what i mean and that's why i'm doing this tutorial <laughs> Now that that's all blended in, I'm going to move on to my eyes. And the reason I like to do this is because by the time I'm finished my eyes, everything that I just put on is going to absorb in my skin. So when I put my foundation on, nothing's going to move around. I'm going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade N25. 25, I don't know why I said 25. And I literally just take a little bit on the back of my hand. And then I just like to... Put this all over my lid. Then I'm taking this Morphe brush and my Dior contour palette. This is the backstage one. And I'm going in with the deep contour. I know this is weird, but I actually start with the deep one sometimes first. And just kind of like buffing that. I'm going to use my finger to kind of blend it out like this. I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm going in with the lighter contour shade. And I'm going to just be placing that right under my crease and kind of like along my lid. And then with the darker shade, I'm going to be defining my crease just a bit more. I kind of like to put more on the outer corner just because I want my eye to look more lifted. And it doesn't really matter if you're a bit messy because we're going to be blending that out. But I always kind of like buff it up. I'm going to be taking the Tarte liner and I'm just going to make a very small wing. So like I just kind of start by stamping and I want to do it like in the middle of my eye because I feel like it just kind of accentuates it. So my camera died and I just went ahead and did my other eye off camera. So basically I kind of lightened it up and did what I normally would do. <laughs> This takes me about 20 minutes. I lied when it said five. So I'm just going to be putting on my lashes. And these are the Nakia Joy lashes in Anna, I believe. Yes, in Anna. I was right. So I'm just going to pop them on. So now that this is drying, I'm going to go ahead and go do my brows. You don't need to put on lashes. I only put them on if I have like somewhere special I want to go. Um, I really do love these because they're just so like big. <laughs> I love big lashes. Eyebrows are done. So I like them to be very natural looking. So now I'm going to go back in with the Dior palette and I'm going to be taking this shade and this one and I'm just going to be putting that in the middle of my eye kind of like a cut crease so my all-time favorite foundation is the Giorgio Armani foundation and this is in shade 6 it is finished like nothing comes out I don't think that there's anything left literally but I don't really need a lot so I'm going to work with what I have. Yes, I am going to buy it. So I'm getting my beauty blender and I'm just very lightly dabbing. So that was probably even too much foundation for my forehead. kind of want to zoom you guys in so you can see actually what is happening. And this is one of, like this is literally like a perfect shade for me. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite concealer. No, I like a really thick concealer. So this is the Tarte Masila. This is a Tarte Masila <laughs> in shade 10. And then I like to kind of place that 
right under the eyes like that bit on my nose now I'm just blending that in so I just took the hourglass veil loose powder and I popped that pretty much all over my face but mainly in the areas of my t-zone because I do get a bit oily but this is a like very shiny powder so that's why I like it even. so now I'm going back in with the Dior powder I'm just gonna lightly contour So after you do that and you blend everything out, I'm also going to be taking the Gerard Cosmetics palette and I'm going in with the blush first class and I'm pretty much just going to be blending everything out. So fun. So the reason I like putting on a lot of blush is I just feel like it gives my skin, like it just makes me look so youthful. Um, so I've always kind of really loved doing that. So then I'm going back in with my Huda Beauty palette and I'm taking that shade Maldives again. And I'm just going to be placing that right on my cheekbone or the apple on my cheek. And I'm kind of like swiping it towards my brow I like to be a bit messy with this because I feel like it's just it gives the best glow so you can't really in my opinion go wrong so I just pretty much put highlighter all over my face I went in with the Bobbi Brown where is it the Bobbi Brown stick and I just kind of went under my eyes with it um, I put it in my lower lash line. I'm going back in with the Dior and I'm just going to be taking the light contour shade and I'm just going to be very lightly putting that under my eye. So I'm going to be taking the MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. As you can see, I love this lip liner so much. It has done me really well. So I'm going to start by lining my lips and then I go over the line and I kind of like to outline, overdraw, just a little, just a teeny. Okay, so my camera just died. <laughs> so sorry. So I'm going to zoom you in, I can show you. So I kind of like to pull my top lip in so I can kind of like make it circular if that makes sense <laughs> I'll just show you and then because I always do that on that side I can like smooth it out with my fingers so then I go in with my MAC Velvet Teddy and this is like another favourite and I kind of just dab that like that and then we're gonna go in with MAC naturally transformed and this is like a nice nude and I like to place this just in the center and then we leave it I'm joking. <laughs> Jokes. So I'm going back in with my Velvet Teddy and I'm going to use this to blend it out. And then I just use my ring finger and I like just pat everything to make sure it's like um. Blended. Wow. <laughs> wow, Jess. And then I'm going to spray some Fix Plus. It's getting hot in here, so hot to take a fire. <laughs> So 
so this is pretty much what I do to my skin um, for foundation I do love the Giorgio Armani another favorite of mine is the Huda Beauty one amazing Too Faced as well I love the L'Oreal one I love um, at the top of my head that's mainly what I think of using every day for my next video I'm gonna have someone special on my channel um, I'm sure you all know her and I am also going to be doing the Hailey Baldwin, oh sorry, Hailey Bieber Met Gala look. Because I saw that and I was like, I love pink. And when she was, she looked like a stunning Barbie, like such an elegant, I just, I can't, there's like, I can't fathom how beautiful she looked. And I really loved it and I was like, okay, I'm definitely going to do this. So. I'm definitely going to do that and um, yeah, some more special stuff coming. Make sure you follow me on my social media. My Instagram is down below, Makeup by Jessica Mars. And my Snapchat is Jess Ayat. Um, and I also have some discount codes for you below. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Mwah. Bye lovely.